Shining Bears and welcome to this, the 12th episode of the Crypto Astrology Podcast. We are going to take a look at what this week holds for Bitcoin and Ether price, but as always, feel welcome to check out the Shining Bull website where I have all kinds of offerings for all suns, especially a trading signal service for day traders and a weekly forecast for both day traders and especially though for swing traders. And I also have predictive books and book bundle deals. And if nothing is within your price range, then simply um, get notifications for this podcast and get on my Twitter. Um, Because I give a lot of free info out here, as you'll see. So let's take a look at this week for Bitcoin and Ether price. And to let you know, although I, the astrologer, live in Newfoundland, I am now giving these predictions as per UTC time. So, Sunday is going to start with a drastic upward movement due to the moon entering into trine with Mercury in the sky. And this positive movement will continue until the early morning when a downward shift is expected as Mercury enters into opposition to Saturn. Please keep in mind that Saturn's influence of Mercury continues until Wednesday, compressing upward price action. But at the same time, there is a lot of upward bullish intentionality on the part of traders and investors due to Mars trining Jupiter throughout this week. So anyway, Sunday afternoon then is going to bring a potentially tricky situation, but it will likely be an upward trend with Venus entering into Aries in the Navamsha, and the rest of Sunday will see a consistent upward trend. So the upward trend will continue past midnight, past midnight Sunday into Monday, as the moon hits an exact trine to Mars reflecting that ongoing influence of Jupiter on Mars that's powering bullish intentionality, which I mentioned. However, expect a downward shift around early morning on Monday as Moon exits trying to Jupiter, lessening optimism. And the market's direction in the evening, I do find difficult to predict, but there is a potential for an upward movement as the Moon enters into Capricorn. Monday ends with a downward shift as Mercury enters Cancer in the Navamsha. Next, on Tuesday, the markets will experience an upward trend beginning in the evening as the full moon is exact. However, and I'll talk about this later in this podcast in the news, please be aware that before this point on Tuesday, there can be a sudden down move or sudden down moves for both Bitcoin and Ether prompted by large whales selling off both of their, uh, both of these assets, Bitcoin and Ether. And this is very important to understand, but I'll go more into that on the news part of this episode. So next, on Wednesday, expect an upward movement in the early morning due to a specific decision taken by government marking the end of the price compression caused by Saturn's opposition to Mercury in the sky. However, note that the market will shift downwards around noon as Mars enters into Libra in the Navamsha. And then on Wednesday evening, there is a likelihood of an upward shift when the Moon enters into Aquarius and into opposition to Venus in the sky. Next, Thursday marks the start of the Sun's actions being influenced by Jupiter, suggesting large policy deliberations that affect prices. Early morning on Thursday will likely see a consolidation or downward correction. Expect a downward trend to start around early morning and continue through mid-morning as Moon begins transiting with Saturn and enters into opposition to Mercury. There will likely be an extreme downward shift around mid-morning as the Sun enters into Ashlesha, again speaking about Thursday. However, the market will pick up and turn upwards around the late morning 
on Thursday after the moon passes Saturn. Nonetheless, the afternoon will likely bring a clear communication from government which will result in a downward trend again on Thursday. Then Thursday night, however, we'll see another upward shift as the moon enters into opposition to Mars. And all of this again is in UTC. Okay, so then Friday early morning, I see, we'll see the start of a downward movement, but the market will go up again around late afternoon as the moon enters into Pisces. And then on Saturday, the market will likely contemplate its troubles, but this will result in an upward trend by afternoon when the moon enters into a specific cusmal relationship to Mercury. Expect, expect a downward trend around the late evening as Mercury re-enters the three degree orb of the Sun. And that's when a difficult relationship begins between Mercury and the Sun, suggesting that the news media may not properly make sense of administrative or political decisions that will be affecting the market. And lastly, as a preview to next Sunday, not today, not this week, but the following Sunday, I'll talk on obviously next week's podcast about it, but I just want to give you a preview that next Sunday is when in the early morning Jupiter is going to join Mars in Libra in the Navamsha of Bharani and the effects of that event will be reflected in next week's trends for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay, so that was the weekly forecast for the week ahead in Bitcoin and Ether price. And for intraday traders, my signal service is best and my weekly forecast is also key for day traders and swing traders. And I also have all kinds of fun book bundles too, to get the larger context. All right. So now let's talk about some news items from the past week. Again, although I, the astrologer, am physically located in Newfoundland, I am referencing UTC time as opposed to my time zone here in Newfoundland. So firstly, about Dogecoin. Dogecoin started an upward movement on Saturday, June 10th, when Jupiter transited the exact degree where Jupiter will turn direct on Saturday, December 30th of this year after his upcoming retrograde motion. And Moon at the onset of Dogecoin's climb was transiting with retrograding Saturn in trying to Dogecoin's natal Rahu. The surge in Dogecoin's value, as you probably know, is being linked to speculations about its future on the newly renamed X platform, formerly known as Twitter. And given Elon Musk's well-known fondness for Dogecoin, rumors are circulating that the platform could start accepting Doge tokens. So considering that, I decided to look at both Dogecoin's chart and Elon Musk's chart to see if there could be any truth to the speculations. So what I see is that when Jupiter turns direct at 11 degrees and 23 minutes of Aries on Saturday, December 30th, he will do so after having recently retrograded past Dogecoin's needle Ketu. And this retrograde transit of Jupiter over Doge's natal Ketu begins on Saturday the 4th of November. That's also the day that Saturn turns direct. Two days previously to this, on Thursday the 2nd of November, Mercury passes Doge's natal Saturn in Libra, simultaneously trining Elon Musk's natal Mercury in Gemini. All this while a new moon happens right on Elon Musk's natal sun in Ardhra Nakshatra. And these movements, to me as an astrologer, really look like they will manifest in the form of some news that Dogecoin will be used for payment. And that's because Doge's natal Saturn is placed in the 10th house of destiny and is lord of natal moon's Rashi lord for Doge and of their second house from the moon, which relates to liquidity or, in other words, to payments. And to give some historical background here, Doge started its climb on its, like, to its last all-time high on January 28th of 2021. And 
and on this date, Sun, Jupiter, and Saturn were closely conjunct to um, Doge's natal moon. And Doge's natal moon is in trying to Elon Musk's natal Saturn. So you can already see that even at the time of Doge's first bull market climb, Elon Musk's chart was also being activated in an important way. And Dogecoin reached its all-time high on May 8th, 2021, when Jupiter was moving through, the f through five degrees of Aquarius. And interestingly, Saturn is now moving retrograde towards that point and is due to turn direct, as I mentioned, on November 4th, just a single degree away from Jupiter's previous position. And that point is also the midpoint between Elon Musk's natal Jupiter and Saturn, which is a point of manifestation. So what this looks like to me as an astrologer again, is that something has been shaping up for both for the past few years that few people likely know about. It's what it looks like is that Elon Musk has been behind the scenes, which without the awareness of hardly anybody, positioning Dogecoin for something big. All right, <laughs> so Elon Musk's Saturn Bhukti of his recently begun Jupiter Mahadasha begins near the end of March of next year, 2024. And this Pukti will enable Musk to get things done that he has been having a lot of setbacks with. And right around here is when Jupiter will leave the three degree orb of Saturn's third Drishti, which will be good for crypto markets heading up and generally speaking will facilitate people's, like people in general, achieving the goals that they have been working hard towards. And at this very moment, when Jupiter leaves this third three degree orb of Saturn's Drishti or aspect, Jupiter will be opposing Doge's natal Saturn. So it looks to me like around this date or probably on Wednesday, March 27th or Thursday, March 28th, depending on where in the world you are, when Moon is opposing Jupiter in the sky, um, March 27th or 28th, Doge will start an important climb. Meanwhile, Doge's current Mahadasha of the Moon enters into a new Bhukti or sub-period of the Sun on April 10th, 2024. And Doge's natal Sun is 11th from natal Moon and is Lord of the 8th house. And this can make for something extreme happening for Dogecoin price. And it is hard for me to say whether this will cut an existing price climb or start a crazier price climb for Doge. So it's important to pay very close attention to the price charts around that date. Nonetheless, what I notice is that a little over one month later on Thursday, May 18th, when Saturn exactly trines Doge's natal Saturn, at this moment, Jupiter, who has recently entered into Taurus is going to be opposing Doge's natal Mercury and Elon Musk's natal Jupiter. Okay, and so Mercury is related to news items and Ju Elon's Musk natal Jupiter is what his whole Twitter acquisition has um, been about actually. So Moon is also at that time going to be transiting Elon Musk's natal moon, who loves showmanship. And as for my extensive research, because I've been following uh, Elon Musk and Tesla for a long time as a financial astrologer, Elon Musk tends to make extremely dramatic statements when moon is transiting his natal moon. And so I would be very careful here. For example, if you see that a price climb has started on April 10th and you have entered into risky positions, this is a date that you have to watch very closely. 
And since this is the time when a ge general, general crypto bull run should be starting, as per my predictions, and since Saturn is also trining Doge's natal Jupiter here, my bet, I want to let you know, my bet as an astrologer, or my prediction, I should say, too much on crypto Twitter using <laughs> bet um, the word. Okay, so my prediction is that something long term will be starting for Doge that can bring great gains that are also sustainable. However, again, because Elon Musk is a volatile person, I would say be careful and be especially careful with leveraged trades. Obviously, spot positions will be way safer than leveraged trades. And this is a very uh, intense um, while. So, to recap, March 27th or March 28th, I predict an upswing for Dogecoin, which can either be drastically cut or intensified on or around April 10th. And then around May 18th, there is likely to be an important movement, which will be determined by some dramatic antics on the part of Elon Musk. And this is all risky terrain, but it could turn out to be quite profitable. So next up, I just want to remind you of the large transfer of funds to Kraken by a mysterious Ethereum whale that I discussed last week and in last week's podcast. And I'm mentioning it now because on Tuesday, August 1st, the sun will reach Ethereum's natal sun and Mercury will transit the same point that Mars did on the day of that big ETH whale transfer. And this means that the Ethereum whale may well decide to sell on Tuesday, August 1st. That's this Tuesday. And that could obviously lead to a dip in Ether price and then shifting to Bitcoin also regarding Tuesday. Going back to the July 16th podcast episode, I discussed the US government's last move of its Bitcoin holdings. And this event coincided with a specific point that Venus transited. Um, and interestingly, also on Tuesday, August 1st, the same day that I just men mentioned for Ether, on Tuesday, August 1st, Venus is expected to retrograde over this same point. And the implication here is that there could be a large sale of Bitcoin potentially by the US government. As per my predictions, I am a financial astrologer. I am not a financial advisor, but uh, this is about what I see as a financial astrologer. So that's all for this week and I will see you next week. I'm recording like in a tiny little nook to try and improve my sound quality. So I don't know, I hope that it's a little bit improved. I would really appreciate your feedback as always and I will see you next week.